This weekend may be the last season opener for the Chargers in San Diego, or maybe not. Today's the deadline that the city gave the team to make a deal by in order for a new stadium to go to a public vote in January. There's no deal, so that means the Chargers will likely try to relocate to Los Angeles. But a final decision on a Chargers move will be made by the NFL. Joining me to sort it all out is mighty 1090 sports columnist Jay Paris. Jay, welcome. Hey, thanks for having me. So today's the deadline for right. the stadium deal. There isn't one. So what happens next? There's no deal and really this ship has sailed a while ago. Back in June when the Chargers failed to negotiate anymore, they, they kind of put their cards on the table. The next would be the NFL uh, have meetings in October and then people start relocating or apply for relocation in January. So, you know, all the tea leaves point to the Chargers leaving probably next year. So the Rams owner, Stan Kroenke, right. wants to move to Los Angeles. And right. then you have a possible joint stadium deal between the Oakland Raiders and the Chargers in Carson. Right. Is there really a market for three teams in Los Angeles County, or is it more like two teams? I think it's a, uh, they're playing musical chairs with two chairs, and there's three teams. I think probably two, you could pull it off. Uh, three would be, be quite a stretch, even for LA. There's a lot of money up there and a lot of people, but three teams might be uh, a little much. I think the deal in Inglewood is the odds on favorite, uh, Mr. Kroenke, you know, he's married to the Walmart people and he's got plenty of cash himself. So I think that's where the Chargers end up as a co-tenant with uh, Mr. Kroenke. So how has this almost constant talk of the Chargers leaving for Los Angeles affected their fan base in San Diego? It, it's been horrible, Let, let's be clear here. I mean, the Chargers uh, have been a part of this fabric of the community for 55 years and those, those fans have supported the Spanos family uh, and other owners as well to really make uh, Sundays in San Diego special. And for all the off season, just the drumbeat of that we're leaving and the city's incompetent and uh, we'll go elsewhere. I think too with them uh, joining forces with the Oakland Raiders, their arch rival who, who Charger fans <laughs> despise, that only ratcheted it up. So they'll get back to, to football on Sunday, but I I'm sure there'll be a couple uh, angry fans there as well. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. So how do you expect that kind of emotion, those feelings to play out uh, on Sunday when they play the Detroit Lions? Do you expect I, protests? You know, Do you I, I think there'll, there'll be some protests out there. I think there'll be some uh, bed sheets written up that uh, uh, show that they're not uh, all them happy about leaving. And uh, let's be clear here, the, the Chargers, you know, those fans, they uh, invest a lot emotionally. You know, I've, I've always said sports is the most important thing that means absolutely nothing. But it means something to a lot of people and they feel really their team is being taken away from them and that they're moving to LA, which San Diego people don't like as well only uh, only intensifies that uh, disappointment. But they're still buying tickets and they're still going. Still buying tickets and tickets that can be sold to other people and uh, maybe the people want to get in on the last season to take their kid or something but tickets have been done have gone well. I think some of that speaks to the teams that are coming in and those cities fans as well buying them up. And how do you expect the Chargers to do on Sunday? You know, they got a tough challenge. Detroit Lions went 11 and 5 last year. That's a really good team. Chargers still trying to work out their offensive line and get their running game going. Uh, it's going to be a very close game. And overall, what does the season look like for I, the Chargers? I think they'll win eight or nine games. Uh, you know, whether that's uh, enough to get in the playoffs or not, we'll see. They haven't made the playoffs for the last five years. Uh, they're in a tough division, still trying to get past the Denver Broncos. Kansas City Chiefs are a little bit better. But the Chargers, they'll be in the mix. I'm not quite sure they're going to get to that 10 win mark or not. And who are some of the players that we should look out for this season? They always look for number 17, Philip Rivers, really the joy of San Diego, and it's been great watching him play all these years. Uh, Melvin Gordon, their running back from Wisconsin, star running back from Wisconsin, they moved up in the draft to get him. He's going to be a key player. Melvin Ingram as well, they need a pass rusher. He's going to be the big guy on that side of the ball. Jay Paris, always a pleasure having you all on the right, program. All right, thank you. Thank you.